what is up guys so I actually wanted to talk to you guys about something and yesterday I actually took the day off um, I was going to talk about it I was gonna you know make my video and talk about it but I ended up taking the day off because the whole day I was trying to think of how I wanted to approach this and the day got away from me um, Okay, I felt extremely backlit and it was gonna drive me crazy, so now I feel a lot better. So the thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was, so there's a lot of comments that go around like this on other people's videos who do van life or something like it. I know for a fact that this is not gonna be the first time I receive comments like this, and most of the time I do ignore them or troll them, but so this is just something I wanted to reply to though, not necessarily because I think that I'm gonna change your mind, but just because I kind of wanted to give my opinion on it and my perspective of it and so I just thought I might as well make this video about it. So I uploaded a video not that long ago, losing motivation and it was a message to my followers. And in that video I kind of just explained how I had been, you know, going through a few things and how I was having trouble finding the motivation to get back on the road and start the road trip again. And a lot of you were very supportive of that you know video and there's a lot more to the story that I want to share one day but you know before that I just am trying to get back on the road you know get back to traveling and find my motivation again in you know nature and traveling and doing this whole journey but I also understand that there's not a lot of people who will understand that or could understand that and one of the comments I received on that video stated people say that a road trip is hard it's really not and just bleep and drive it's not all that bad. I've traveled from DT to SoCal three times. Once in a Civic, once in my friend's Civic, once in a Colbat, and never in a bigger vehicle like a Jeep. You need to get some better inspiration. Maybe look into Litbright, who literally has gone all over living out of their Jeeps, or Trail Recon, who travels all over but doesn't necessarily live out of their Jeep, or Jeep gears and gadgets. Watching one dude who literally sucked at doing his road trip with all this bleep and drama it's pretty sad. So I wouldn't necessarily say that the comment bothered me. I don't usually get bothered by comments and I, like I said before, I really don't care what most people think because, you know, it's their opinion and they can think whatever they want and it's not going to affect what I do, what I think, or what I decide to do with my life. So it didn't necessarily bother me with that comment. However, I did find it interesting that people would see it like this and actually think that. And so I wanted to address it in this video because even if it doesn't bother me, I want my YouTube channel to be something that people can look back on and find inspiration in. And I think it's really funny that he tries to compare Jake to channels like Trail Recon and Litbright and all those other channels because those channels are not very comparable. When I say I get inspiration from Jake, it's because his channel was the most relatable to me. Channels like Trail Recon, and I think that, you know, they make some amazing content, um, but I can't relate to them the same way, especially with my budget and with, you know, my following. Channels like Trail Recon, for example, they have, you know, brand new Jeeps that they can just get off a whim. They have sponsors that allow them to you know, do lots of things that I can't, they have abilities to do things that I can't do, and so I can't relate to that. Even Litbright, um, I don't know too much about her, but I can tell you that, you know, their setup is definitely far superior and a lot more comfortable than what I have, especially on their budget. They have the ability to do things and to go along with things that I can't, and I think that that plays a huge role in how easy or difficult something is. I heard this somewhere one time and I can't really think of where so I can't give credit to it. People usually try to compare themselves with other people and when somebody whose biggest struggle is money sees somebody else with a lot of money, they usually can't understand how that person could possibly have a problem or could even be struggling with anything. When your biggest struggle is finances and you see someone else who has no struggle with finances, complaining about something, it kind of bothers you because to you, they shouldn't have a problem because your problem that you have, they don't have. And you have trouble seeing how they can have another problem with something that you don't have a problem with. Some rich person on the media is complaining about how hard their life is and they're literally rich. 
and they're complaining about something that has been going on in their life or something that's bothering them or you know something of the sort and the way that you see it you, your only problem is the fact that you don't have enough money to take care of certain necessities then you see this other person with money complaining about how they have struggles and to you that bothers you because you don't have money and they do so what do they have to be complaining about i think that's kind of what a lot of people are doing nowadays and i think that's kind of what's happening in these comment sections when people try to compare other people and other people's struggles with other things. These people with, you know, less money and less ability to do things and go places, um, you're taking a very small factor of something people are doing and trying to compare them very strictly. You're taking two people and saying both of these people live in a Jeep, one succeeded in doing it and one failed. And you're not really looking at the bigger picture. You're not looking at the fact that one has a dog and one doesn't. That makes a difference. One has a vehicle that was, wasn't was even built to go on the highway and one has a vehicle that was built five years ago. You have one vehicle that, you know, is much smaller and much more cramped and you have one vehicle that isn't. You have, you know, people who get sponsors by big companies. They get free tires easily. They, you're comparing two drastically different things and you're trying to compare other people's lives when you don't even understand their situation. Even for example, strictly this person tried to compare my Jeep with a Honda Civic, trying to say that his vehicle was worse off than mine, saying that his wasn't as comfortable or as big as mine. And I'm gonna have to make an assumption in assuming that he probably didn't, you know, live in his Civic. He probably drove his Civic across the state without living in it. And I can tell you right now that if I was doing that, I would take a Civic over my Jeep any day. My Jeep is loud, it rattles, um, the steering is super loose. It's got a lot of problems that make it not the most highway capable vehicle. As far as size goes, every time I crawl into my Jeep, my knees hit my steering wheel like every single time. It is very small. If anyone's ever been in a Jeep, it is one of the smallest vehicles you will probably get in. I'm not comparing that to newer Jeeps, which I can't really remember how big those are. I think they have a little bit more space, but definitely the older Jeeps, YJ, CJ, and it probably get, only gets smaller going from there, they are not spacious at all. They look big, they are not big. I think it, now is probably a good time to mention my 50 state road trip. The goal isn't just to travel to 50 states and say I did that. It's not that simple for me. You know, I, I'm not just trying to drive across the state. If I was doing that, I would not be, I would, I, I probably wouldn't even have a Jeep. If that was my goal, was just to say I traveled 250 states, that wouldn't be it. And the reason that I think Jake is my biggest inspiration is because we have a lot of similar ambitions and we have a lot, a very similar mindset and how we see things. And I'm not really, I'm not really doing this for you guys. I'm not doing this 50 state road trip so I can travel to 50 states and say that I did and put it in, you know, write a book or whatever. I'm doing this so I can enjoy it. And, you know, that's why I'm trying to go to the places that I want to go to, go to places I'll enjoy so I can learn things and travel places, you know, get to know things. I would like to, you know, I would like to travel to every state, but if at the end of the day I don't accomplish that, I'm not going to feel like a failure. I would feel more like a failure if I traveled to every single state and never learn anything from it and I never got anything out of it. I might not complain about it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's easy. I thought of a good analogy the other day where it's almost like somebody who babysits children trying to compare themselves to a mother and a mother saying that it's difficult having a child. It doesn't necessarily mean that she's complaining about, you know, children. She probably loves her children and would never give up anything for them. But that doesn't necessarily, you know, neglect the fact that it's not easy having a child and it's not easy taking care of a child. And I think it's just kind of the same thing with this situation. Somebody who goes camping from time to time or somebody who likes to go on road trips or go on vacations might see what you're doing and think, oh, you know, this is like a permanent vacation for them. They're living my dream. They're doing what I want to do. But they don't see the struggles that you go through. And even though you might enjoy watching children, you know, every once a week or whatever doesn't mean that having a child is going to be as much fun because now you have to deal with it all the time it's not it's no longer a choice you can't go camping for a week and then drive home to your comfy house with nice ac a nice bed and a big room if it's raining that day you're stuck in your vehicle all day 
go try that and then you know come back and tell us how fun it is how we're living your dream i'm not saying that to be rude that sounded kind of harsh but that is the reality of this you know there's gonna be days when all you can do is sit in your vehicle and you're not able to go home i'm trying to say this in a way that doesn't sound like i'm complaining because I'm not, I really do enjoy it so far as you know, I've done it. I haven't done it very long, but for the times I have done it, I do enjoy it and I definitely think it's worth it. There are a lot of benefits from van life that you do not get from living in a house. And there also are a lot of benefits from living in a house that you do not get in van life and both have their pros and cons. Just because you might find something easy doesn't necessarily mean it's easy for everybody else. It's almost like when you go to a gym and you see one person who is you know probably been working out for the last couple of years and they're built and they can just do all the equipment easy meanwhile you're extremely out of shape this is kind of a personal thing for me because this is how i felt the last couple of days while i've been at the gym but it doesn't stray from the fact that you know you go to the holy cow are you kidding me i've been filming at 60 this whole time so back to the gym analogy there's people there that might find a lot of the things easy you know lifting 100 pounds might be easy for them and it might not be as easy for you just because they say it's easy doesn't make it easy for you. Calling something easy isn't going to automatically make it easy for you to do. You can't just magically decide, oh, you know what? I decided it's not as hard as I said. This person told me it's easy, now it's easy. It doesn't work that way. Your reality is still your reality. If something bothers you, it bothers you and you can't change that. If something you know, it's hard for you, it's hard for you, and you can't change that. You might be able to work to make it easier, but just because someone tells you that it's not hard, doesn't make that not hard. You know, if I punch you and it hurts, and someone tells you that that didn't hurt, that doesn't mean it didn't hurt, it still hurt. People, a lot of the times, try to make you think that you shouldn't think or feel a certain way, even if that is how you feel. So if on this journey, on this adventure I'm going on, if at any point, I say that it's hard, you telling me it's not hard isn't gonna suddenly make me decide it's easy. You know, I can try to think that it's not hard, but that doesn't make it any easier. The best thing for me to do will be to have a positive attitude, but that doesn't necessarily make it easy. I can still enjoy this, I can still love it, and I can still, you know, not wanna give it up. And as long as I have a good attitude about it, I'm sure that I'll always find a way to be motivated to continue this journey but I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend like it's easy because it's not gonna be easy. If I was in my Jeep right now, um, it's really, really cold outside and I won't be able to run the Jeep the whole time. And you know, Lord forbid something happens, the Jeep breaks down, now I don't have a heater. Um, it's cold outside, I'm crammed in a tight space. What if I get stuck? You know, a lot of things might happen, could happen. And um, you know, I'm gonna have to prepare myself for that possibility. But at the end of the day, the only person who can really decide whether I am a success or a failure is gonna be me, and I really don't care. If you think that me not making it to all 50 states make, somehow makes me a failure, then that's your problem. To me, I'm gonna determine whether or not I succeed or fail on that. I've never been a fan of the mentality of somebody else deciding my progress, and that's why I'm trying to make YouTube my career, because I want my progress to be determined by no one but myself. I don't like the idea of someone else you know, coming up and, and deciding whether or not I did a good job. If I do my best and I work hard at it and I feel like I accomplished something and I worked my hardest and I did my best, that's all that matters. It didn't feel like I could find joy in my work and in, in creating videos and being on the road. I just didn't look at things the same way. And so what you guys got in the last video is that weighing on me and then everything that was, could have been, anything that could have been underlying. If somebody doesn't see it that way, then that is their problem. And I'm not going to try to make them happy by doing something else. Success is not determined by what other people think of you, it is determined by what you think of you. And as long as you base your success off of other people's opinions, you're never going to actually feel successful because people's opinions of you are always going to be different and you can only do what you think is right. Just get